now we know if these are the constraints given in the problem then we cannot solve the problem by using top down dp or bottom up dp or the normal routine way that we know is to calculate the next number using previous two numbers because in those solutions we will have to loop 10 to the power 15 times which will anyways give us tle so we need a faster solution than linear time so we need a solution which is better than o of n so certainly a solution better than o of n will be of log n and that is what we are aiming for now <clears throat> so we have learned a way how we calculate the matrix power in log n time let's try to see how we can utilize that concept to solve this problem so if i say i know that nth fibonacci number yeah i will just write it as a fn is equal to n minus 1 and n minus 2 and same way i can also write f of n minus 1 i'm just trying to make it as a column matrix so this can be rewritten as f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 and this will be as it is now if i try to right side if i try to rewrite it i can also rewrite it as this is f of n minus 1 plus 0 into f of n minus 2 so there are coefficients here now what i will do is i'll just expand it to be this is 1 and this is also one the coefficient of this is one coefficient of this is one coefficient of this is one coefficient of this is zero so i'm just splitting it like this and i'm putting another matrix as f of n minus 1 f of n minus 2 if you just see this is just a rewrite of this using the matrix concept for linear equations so this analogy you would agree with that we can rewrite this as f of n f of n minus 1 this matrix is going to be multiplication of these two matrices okay so what we will do we will take it a little further to see like how we can easily calculate this now if i just want to expand this further i will just keep this matrix as it is and let me put an expansion of this expansion of this as in if this was the left side here then what would replace it if in place of f of n if we had f of n minus 1 then first matrix will come as it is and second matrix that we are writing a column matrix would have become f of n minus 2 and f of n minus 3 i have just written an expansion of this the other matrix is intact okay what it means is i have just brought it to another form where we are just saying that this has become equal to 1 1 1 0 whole square this matrix whole square into f of n minus 2 and f of n minus 3 in multiplication now if i try to generalize it if i just expand this also further and i continue on the same track then of course we will reach at some point where we can say this to the power k into if this was power 2 it was n minus 2 if this was power 1 originally if you notice this was n minus 1 that means if this is power k then second term certainly has to be n minus k and the next term has to be one less than that okay so that is the generic form now we we want to get rid of this term k and we want to bring it down to the base cases so what i want to know is after how many steps basically what will be the value of k for which this can become f1 and this can become f0 so it's like further going down and saying after how many steps will this become 1 will this become 0 so of course this will become f of 1 if n minus k becomes equal to 1 that means this will become 1 if k becomes equal to n minus 1 so i'm sending k that side bringing one here 
So if k becomes n minus one, so k's factor is n minus one. If you put this k n minus one over here, this term will become zero because here it will be n minus k minus one should be zero, and k should become equal to n minus one. That is what we are kind of deriving. That means the first matrix that we are having one 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 zero. This should be having a power of n minus one. In order to give us this, now what this is telling us is, we should certainly take this matrix that I have written here, calculate its power n minus one, where n is 10 to the power. The constraint was 10 to the power 15. We want to raise this matrix to 10 to the power 15, and after, sorry, not 10 to the power 15, we have to take it to 10 to the power 15 minus one because we have to take one lesser power. And once we get that, we have to multiply that answer with f of one, f of zero, which of course are given as base cases. Once we do that, then whatever is the first number we are going to get in this final answer, this number would be our nth Fibonacci number. Right. So goal is to take the, this matrix and calculate n to n minus one power. And in fact, we already know that if fib of one is one, then this eventually, whatever answer we get here, that is going to be the final answer. And now imagine when we solve this problem, after solving this problem, let's say we get A, B, C, D here. And now in A, B, C, D, if this is one, this is zero. If you multiply this finally, then what we are going to get is we are going to get a matrix A into one, B into zero, which will be A and C into one, D into zero. So it will be C. So basically if you take N minus one at power of this matrix, whatever number we get here in the zero, zero place, that is going to be the nth Fibonacci number. So all we have to do is just go ahead and implement this code to solve this problem. So eventually we are solving a problem of finding, taking this matrix, which is fixed one, 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 zero, calculating its n minus one th power with mod in consideration and after we have calculated the power with exponentiation rule, then whatever answer we get here is our final answer. And this will be taking log n time for us to calculate nth, n minus one nth power of the given matrix.